Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on this little lunch bag and it requires you to have four sets of grommets. So we have grommets. We have one, two, three, and four. We need a five millimeter size H crochet hook and it's recommending Lily Sugar and Cream which is 100% cotton. You can also use 100% uh, cotton which is Bernat Handicrafter as well. This is very, very simple. It's just a one page pattern and uh, we just need to concentrate on making the panels. So let's talk about that next. So we need to make a total of three panels. We have the front side, we have the back which is the same as far as like making sure you do the stitch work and then this piece here just comes down and across and then back up so that's a one piece unit. Then we have to make uh, two handles that are tied and put through the grommets on the other side. So let me show you what this uh, particular sample looks like as far as like the flat space and then we're gonna make two of those here on camera. So here's the main panel and what we're going to do is just back and forth single crochet all the way up and you're gonna get to 11 inches and this is where this one stops. The 11 inch mark is where we're gonna apply the, the holes that we can put the grommets in and then we just finish it off a couple rows afterwards and then it's completely done. So all I just need to do is get you started here with single crochets and the side gussets the same kind of way. It's just a matter of just go doing a bit and then just going back and forth with single crochet. So let's grab our crochet hook, five millimeter size uh, H with your Lily Sugar and Cream. So let's begin doing the main panel. So the front and the back are both alike. So you're just gonna make a slip knot and you're going to put that onto your crochet hook and I need you to chain a total of 27. So one, two, three, four, and five and go all the way to 27 for me and meet me back here in just a moment. So once you have a total of 27 done, of course mine isn't 27, mine's just a sample. You're gonna go second chain from the hook so just one and two. Turn it over and get the back loop of the chain and I want you to single crochet in the back loop of every one of the chains going across. Of course it's a chain so it always takes a little bit longer but once you get this pattern started it gets a lot easier. So just single crochet yourself all the way back across your chain and maybe back here in just a moment. Once you get to the end of the chain just turn your work and chain up one and do one single crochet in the same one and then just do one single crochet in each stitch going all the way across. That's all this is. So what you need to do is you need to go back and forth till you get to 11 inches tall. What I would highly recommend is that when you do this and before you do the grommets area I would do both of the panels to 11 inches tall and uh, it actually will make sure that you get the right uh, stitch count as far as like the, row, the rows. Sometimes when you measure it can be different, right? So you turn your work, chain one and just single crochet yourself all the way up. So please go to 11 inches for me and then meet me back here in just a moment. So here we are, we got 11 inches tall. So this is the actual sample. So 11 inches is where it marks and we're gonna be making those spaces for the grommets. So what we're going to do is that it's just really simple in order to get these to line up properly to each other. So what we're going to do at this point is that we are going to chain one and start. So we're just gonna do the first six. So one and this is a single crochet for two, three, four, five and six. Now the next one is where the grommet's going to be. So chain one, skip that one and single crochet the second one over and that will create a little micro hole that you have. So what I need you to do is just continue to single crochet yourself across and on the seventh one just before the end I want you to place in the other space to do the grommet work later in this particular tutorial. So when you get closer just count it back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is just a fluke. Okay, that's just a fluke. So now chain one, skip that one and single crochet the one after it. So now you have the micro hole. So this one plus it's five more it gives you six. So let's just say this is two, three, four, five and six. And now what I need you to do is working two rows. So turning our work, we're gonna do two rows only and then that's done. So chain up one and do one single crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way across and in the chain one space I want you to fill it in with the double, with the single crochet as well. Which I'll be there in just a moment. Okay, so here it is. So what I want you to do is go right into the space and single crochet and then continue on the one after that 
and what I need you to do is do it with the same with the other one and then just go across one more time with just single crochet and then fasten off and you're good to go. So you have to make sure you get two of these done. So now coming to the conclusion of the panel. So you have to make sure you make two of these and it's good to go and what we're going to do at this point is that we're just gonna fasten off and we'll leave an extra long tail and we'll deal with those tails later. So what I'm going to move on now is to do the gusset area and the gusset is what separates the two panels. It's what's uh, riding in the middle. Let me just review again how I did it and then you can do that as well if you prefer and you'll have the perfect length. So we have two panels and what I have to do is that I have to put the grommets in the other one. So I can do that afterward. I did a separate tutorial on how to do this and I'm looking at the inside of the grommets. So this is kind of what the outside looks like that people will see. So what you have to do now is a gusset. Now the gusset is chaining of 12 and then single crochet, second chain from the hook. So there's a total of 11 single crochets and now it gives a dimension of that you can work towards as far as 33 inches but sometimes our tension is different. So what I decided to do is that I started going along and I got pretty close to the end of where it was gonna go down one side and I marked it. I just laid it down and realized that the, the heights match and I put a stitch marker into that spot. Then I continued along the base just like you see just no stretching at all and I laid it out and realized there's the other corner of the base. And then what I just did then is that I worked it all the way to the top and had it marked. So therefore this gusset actually matches this project. So even if it wasn't 33 inches then the fact is, is that it will match. So what I want you to do now is that I want you to do your gusset. If you wanna go for the 33 inches that's up to you. So a chain on, a chain on uh, 12 sec, uh, single crochet, second chain for the hook. Just keep on going back and forth and create this. And when I come back then we're going to attach our gusset to the main body. Okay so we're gonna attach our gusset to the main one body and then we're gonna do the same with the other side. So the attaching actually appears on the outside. So when you look at it from this perspective if you've got your grommets in the good side is obvious when it faces out the other side. See that it's different. So what you wanna do is that when you go to attach these you wanna do it in a way that the seam line will be on the outside of the bag. So if this is the good side that you see this is the way that you should fold it. Now because you did single crochet all the way across just like you see here, what's gonna happen is that they're gonna match up to the gusset. So you're just gonna take your yarn, any color that you wish, and you're just going to start off on the one side of the gusset, going in and go across and just attach with a slip stitch. Okay, chain one and then just in the same one, just single crochet just to get started. You're going to advance down one row on the front which will match to the back of the second one and just single crochet right over it. And you're attaching these together as you're single crocheting so no sewing is involved and it gives you a neat looking edge. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do this all the way down and then at the base you're gonna put in three single crochets and then go across and then at the corner three single crochets and come back up and then you're going to finish that off, turn it over and do the other side and attach the other uh, piece so that you have your forming of your bag. So what I've done now is that I've attached one side completely just like you see I still have to weave in my ends and then what I have then is that I've attached the second one now using with the stitch markers again just to make sure that it lines up and now I'm gonna work my way across and continue to, to single crochet them together. Okay so I'm just attaching the second piece and I have my yarn strand left over. Let's review on how to hide in your loose ends. So you're just gonna use a tapestry needle and put your yarn into it and what you want to do is that you wanna stay towards the inside of the bag. So just stay and just kinda fold it in a way that makes sense and coming down into the fibers but stay on this side, the inside of the bag and coming down in. Pull through. When you pull don't warp anything so don't make sure that you pull it so the point that it's gonna stretch it in a different way. Go back in the other direction. This is number two. Just stay within the fibers on this side and then continue one more time coming back in the other direction a third time. You're gonna do that with all of your loose ends back and forth three times to weave them in. When we come back then we'll start the handles. Okay so now it's time to do the handles. So the handles are a total of 16 inches long. You need a total of two of those. So one 
I have to finish off. So all this is is the round tubular of five stitches going around in a continuous circle so there's no slip stitching involved. Now the photograph shows that the knot is on the outside of the bag so it comes from the other side and forces its way through. So you have to decide what it, what you like better. Would you prefer the knot be on the inside of the bag or would you like it on the outside of the bag like it shows. You have to make that choice. I'm thinking for myself I'm just kind of not being very creative but I'm actually thinking of keeping it to the inside. So when I'm ready all I'm just gonna do is stick my, uh, put my grommets on and then just pull this through and then just create a, a knot. So don't waste too much of it. Create a knot and then you'll just be able to attach it. You might be able to push it through too. Yeah you can. So you just have to create a knot and make sure that when you go to create the knot you wanna make them both equal. So probably do them back at the same time. So let's get you started, show you how to make these and then what, so you'll just have to actually just create a knot knot and uh, that will prevent it from falling out. So let's uh, continue to go along now and make a handle. So to make a handle I made one that was 16 inches and then I used that as the template for the second one. So all you just need to do is chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four and five and simply just go to the very first one and attach it with a slip stitch. So what I want you to do, we're gonna go in a continuous circle. So just chain one and starting in the first stitch, let's just count these out. So one and go right up over top of that straggler. Let's get rid of that and we're gonna go two and three, four, and five is your last one. So in the fifth one what I want to do is that when I start the next one I wanna make sure that it's the fifth one from the hook. So we'll see count one, two, three, four, five. So that's the first one. So the first one there is where I wanna start. So I'm just gonna single crochet first just to get started and then I'm gonna pop it out the middle so that it's towards me because it's just easier. So you come to the next stitch available to you and single crochet. I found with myself go easy on the tension here. If you make it too tight it's harder to see the stitches and it's harder to get your hook in. So keep it nice and loose and I want you to just continue to circle and circle and circle until you get 16 inches and then you're gonna fasten off at that point. Every once in a while I want you to just double check. It's gonna be a continuous tube and it's going to um, look consistent. So if it's growing or it's subtracting you know that you're missing or adding a stitch. So I've been going right up over top of that straggler so let me get rid of that and show you something else. So when you go to check once in a while you wanna make sure that you have five. So you have one, let's count this out. So we have one, two, three, four and five is the next one that I have to go into. So you just wanna continually check once in a while to make sure that you continuously have five. So you're just gonna work your way in a continuous circle until you get to the length that you want and then I'll see you there in just a moment. I've already done it so I don't need to do any more than this but you just have to keep circling. It doesn't take long at all and you'll notice that it's gonna grow by the inches right before your very eyes. So once you get your first one done just measure make sure that it is 16 inches and then just have your last loop pull it through. Then take your ending you wanna get rid of it completely so you don't want any evidence of it and just get, put it onto a tapestry needle and just kinda of go into the project and get rid of it. So just keep going in and out and it gets it locked into position more and more the more times you go in and out. So what I would do is do the first one and then use this one as the template for the second one. So just hold it up together just make sure that they're both kind of stretched the same kind of way if you, if you are gonna stretch it at all. It's just to make sure that they're pretty equal. Then cut and you're done. So do the second one. So now what we have to do is that we have to go back and we have to make sure we put the grommets in. So I'm gonna put you to that tutorial now. I've already done it and then I've gotta go out to the studio, put my grommets in and all you just need to do then is that once you get your grommets in you just want to tie a knot. Okay, so stay really close to the edge. Stay really close so when you go to pull this you don't wanna pull too much in the, in the height going up to stay towards the outside. There you go. See and therefore you have a knot and it will never fall out on you. And so you're just gonna do the same to the other side.
kind of pull it the same kind of distance. Kind of compare the two. And therefore they're good to go. So then your handles are all set. So that's it for now. Please do your uh, grommets and your handle and then you're good to go to enjoy your new bag to go. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. I'm your host Mikey. Today I'm going to show you how to place grommets inside your crochet project. Never done this before and I'm doing a lunch bag where this is required to hold in the handles into the project. What we have here is a combination of things. So here is a package of grommets and when you buy these sometimes they provide the punch and other times they don't. You need the punch so if it's being sold separately like I picked it up then you'll have to buy that separately on its own and then you just buy the grommets. Now if you go to Joanne Fabrics and Crafts usually they have a kit that everything is included for the first time you do it and then you can buy replacement grommets just like you see. So there are two types of grommets uh, materials in there. You'll notice one that has a lip that is facing up just like you see and the other one is more flat. Okay, this lip one is the good side. So whenever you're looking at the project, you should be looking at it from this point of view when you're looking at the good side of the project. And the other one being so flat should be the back side of the project. So without further ado, let's take a crochet project and let's show you an example. To do any kind of grommet work, you're going to need a hard surface other than a table or something that you don't want to ruin. So you'll notice that this is the bottom of the punch. There's a flat side to it, just like you see, and then there's a side that has a cupping that you see. So the cupping side should face up and what you're going to do is the one with the bigger lip is the one that will sit down on top of the cup just like you see. And what you're going to do is insert your project over that and then you're going to take the other smaller one and place it over top and then take the punch itself and then just go down and just give it some light taps with the hammer. On the top side of this lunch bag I skipped one stitch and I chained one and I have a little hole. Now your grommet should be able to fit inside that little hole when you have and there's two of them and because there's two sides there's going to be a total of four grommets. So, so what I have to do is determine what side is the good side of the project. I've determined that this side is the side that I want to see. Therefore this one here with the lip on it should be the one that is on that side and the other piece should be on the inside of the bag. So what I'm going to do is force that one through the hole. So there's a chain one space hole and just move around the stitches so that you can get it to fit and you will see that it will fit just like there. Now you're going to take the punch and lay it down on top of the, the board and you're going to carefully place that down so that it's inside the punch. You're now going to grab the other one. Now the other one has a lip just like you see. It should be like a bowl shape so the bottom of it really should be facing down so it's like a bowl. Okay and you're going to place that right up over top of the other piece just like you see. So now what you're going to do is that you are going to take your punch and put it right on top. So keeping everything nice and firm and now grabbing your hammer you want to tap down on top. And what I'm trying to determine was whether it's stuck or not. And what I have here is that I can see that it's gone down a little bit but I still have to tap it in a little bit more. And then I'm going to retest it and I'm going to check it and just to make sure that the interior piece has come through this smaller ring. If you're not sure yet just keep on tapping until you feel that it's secure. Once you think you tapped it enough you'll be able to see that the upper lip went over top of the other ring therefore it's good to go. So all you can just do now is switch to the other one. So in this case there's two of them. So again my good side is the one I want facing out. So I'm just going to apply, apply it to the chain one space and I just have to move around the fibers in order to do that. So just get it to go around. And once I can see the ring is exposed all the way through, I'm going to again place it down on top of the punch. Then taking the other one, again see the bowl shape itself, you want to face that down. And then taking your punch, put your punch on top and then take your hammer and hammer it down. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna pick it up and just check it and see if it actually took. And if I'm not happy with it, I can just apply it again. And therefore, I have two grommets inside my work for my lunch bag.